Ruth Colvin Clark, e-learning and the science of instruction, proven guidelines for consumers and designers of multimedia learning. In the fast-paced digital world, e-learning has emerged as a popular and efficient means of instruction, accounting for about 40% of learning today. This book summary highlights the core learning principles and powerful design strategies behind successful e-learning, based on extensive research and experimental findings. It emphasizes the importance of a multifaceted learning approach that blends media while keeping the context, technology, culture, time, and budget in mind. With this helpful guide, you will gain insights into optimizing e-learning design and content by focusing on human learning processes, memory, and cognitive capacities. Mastering the Art of E-Learning The efficiency, cost, and social factors of various learning methods differ, but the quality of learning depends on effective design and instruction that follows core learning principles grounded in high-quality research. E-learning has gained popularity and proves effective, provided the design follows a blend of media, pays attention to human memory processing, and considers the context, technology, culture, time, and budget. The design must avoid extraneous content and balance the pace and complexity of content. E-learning uses job-relevant content and examples to foster engagement and add value. E-learning's effectiveness derives from years of peer-reviewed, empirical research that supports these principles. Graphic Design for Effective Learning The combination of words with graphics enhances learning. Animations and diagrams grab attention and reinforce the message. Effective graphic design is essential for efficient learning by drawing attention to the most important elements. Effective graphics in e-learning. In e-learning, avoid cognitive overload by not putting words under graphics or embedding feedback, examples, audio, animations or video as separate clickable elements. Learners should see words next to relevant graphics to easily remember information. Biometric eye movement studies show that those who see words and visuals next to each other perform significantly better. Use static illustrations unless there is a compelling reason for animation, and ensure audio and video accompany graphics closely. Avoid making learners open a new screen for multimedia. Enhancing learning with audio. The combination of audio and complex graphics boosts learning capacity by engaging two separate, cognitive channels, the eyes and the ears, which reduces cognitive load and expands learner capacity to absorb information. Eye-tracking experiments reveal that presenting words in audio rather than on-screen text generates significant learning gains. Audio groups significantly outperform text groups in problem-solving tasks, at times doubling the number of correct solutions. Learning styles debunked. The belief that people have different learning styles is a myth. Adding audio and text options to learning materials may do more harm than good by overloading cognitive channels, according to research. Accompanying text may help in complex situations where learners control the pace of learning or when no graphics are involved. It's best to avoid e learning courses with redundant on screen text and graphics during narration. Learner-Centered Material Design The key to effective material design is simplicity. Keep the lesson simple and uncluttered to avoid overwhelming cognitive resources. Studies show that students who receive clear and straightforward explanations perform better on tests even for complex topics. Adding extraneous materials distracts learners and may hinder their ability to understand the essential concepts. When visuals are necessary, it is crucial to opt for simplicity instead of complexity. A simple image can often convey information more efficiently than a detailed one. Similarly, extraneous graphics, animations, audio, and video may engage students, but they interfere with learning. Experimentation shows that those who received instruction with extra video clips performed worse than those who did not. When creating a visual, choose emotionally appealing colors to enhance the learning experience. Extraneous visuals and information can be tempting, but paring information down to the essentials is crucial to learning success. Improving e-learning experience 
The key to improving the e-learning experience lies in using personal and friendly language, modest emotional design, and online coaches focused on education rather than entertainment. Learners respond better to avatars with human-like gestures and a conversational, polite style of speaking. Studies show that online agents can improve test scores by almost a third. Visuals and language that are relevant and personal can make a significant difference in learning outcomes. Simplifying e-learning To avoid overwhelming learners, break down content into manageable modules or chunks. Use examples to develop complex cognitive skills. For complex topics, pre-training modules are essential to help learners digest new words, terminologies and concepts. Segmented e-learning enhances post-learning test scores. Engaging e-learning strategies The book's summary explores the most effective techniques for engaged e-learning. It emphasizes that behavioral engagement does not always promote learning, while psychological engagement results in better learning outcomes. Providing exercises that ask learners to summarize and apply what they've learned reinforces psychological engagement. The summary also recommends the use of worked examples, work-relevant practice material, and adding group collaboration to optimize results. The summary cautions against the wholesale conversion of traditional training formats to game-based formats, except when they add value. Real-life examples and case studies should always center e-learning on real-work problems. In conclusion, the key takeaways from this book summary underscore the importance of combining various media, instructional methods, and learning strategies to create engaging and effective e-learning courses. Guided by decades of empirical research, the principles discussed provide an evidence-based framework for designing impactful e-learning experiences. Fundamental aspects include appropriate use of pacing and complexity, incorporating graphics and audio elements, segmentation of content, psychological engagement, and fostering collaboration among learners. By applying these principles and leveraging real-life, job-relevant content, you can build memorable and productive e-learning courses, fostering greater understanding and success for learners.